morning all hi uh, today now we are going to speak about the method to secure nvme ssd out of band uh, uh, interface via spdm so basically i like to touch upon the storage angle how it is getting benefited from the spdm hi so myself uh, karthik balan uh, working for samsung semiconductor india and uh, my this paper is co-authored by shrikant tomandru who is a uh, unable to travel here due to visa issues and uh, I'm taking on his friend. So before we go into the security and uh, SPDM and storage, I just like to touch upon how is that data growth is uh, happening in the industry and uh, how the storage is getting a threat. Not only storage, whole uh, disintegrated system. So looking into the current uh, uh, social networking and IoT error, the data production every day is very uh, phenomenally increasing. So if you look at it, the prediction says that by 2025, we have around uh, one, one, uh, 180 uh, zettabyte of data generated, and which means that uh, approximately 2.1 uh, quintillion byte of data created every day. And data centers and uh, multi-interface uh, plays a clear role in disaggregated storage. And end of the day, so much of data pumping and transferring across things makes a high chance of a data breach. That could be costly from the storage perspective. And uh, it's not only uh, cyber or something like that, even the device-to-device -device attacks are prone to happen. And uh, end of the day, it ends in a financial loss for the thing. And just an overview on uh, OSL, OSI layer, kind of the attacks which are happening under seven layers which are defined. So basically, uh, application layer, starting with application layer, I see that's very prominent, like uh, we have the cyber security threats and everything happening, exploiting from that application layer. And uh, going from next layer is a presentation layer, where which is mostly, uh, <coughs> mostly it's about uh, <coughs> two encoding, decoding, and stuff, other stuff. But they are also getting attacked by the <coughs> social engineering tactical ways they do that, and uh, malwares kind of things are getting used for uh, getting attacked on that. And going next is a session layer. So where which is like, it enables a connection, secure connection between two components or the network and still uh, VCS issue from that, even malware is able to attack that. And going down the layer, we have speaking about transport layer. So uh, even they are main responsible for communications of the uh, data between the, in a more secure fashion by like TCP or any other thing, but still there is a land of uh, Mac hacking and other stuff are also happening from transport and network which are almost uh, interdependent. And even the packetization and repackitization and Mac allocations are getting hit. And you, if you look at the layer number two data link, there we have something like uh, uh, Mac scooping, scooping of things happening. So we are basically where uh, <laughs> they can uh, mac, uh, mimic your Mac and route the data to a different target instead of the actual thing. And looking at next class, the physical layer, so based that probe that linker is sniffing with the transport packet and uh, gathering information and then getting the collective data from that. So this is commonly attached upon the uh, common security attacks. So now, uh, physical to transport layer is a main uh, activity which could impact the storage perspective where I'm speaking about NVMe uh, SSDs. So possibly that happens in physical uh, data link network and transport. They all contribute to that. And what is the end possible threat is like uh, it attempt to crap the packet headers and delay the flag write bypass during and causing data, I mean wrong data to be accepted and attaching the stale value for the reader. And all this, I mean, not limited to this, but with this we see like there is unauthorized access for the data center environment, including the storage. Sorry, yeah. So coming to this, like now NVMe SSD is a predominantly and storage device which is getting adapted in uh, uh, all the data center environment. And typically, uh, as you see like data center environment has multiple uh, components, AFA, switches, and then storage uh, boxes, everything. But I just speak about NVMe, which is, you can see in the right image. And host can communicate with the NVMe uh, storage device by the two ways, either via the PCIe thing uh, as a root complex, and they have BMC, which is used for uh, management controller. Initially, the management controller also was like, 
evolving. Like uh, initially, it was only for uh, sensing the state of the drive and things. But eventually, now if you look at the trend, uh, VMC is getting used. We can do mostly the flash level media access also is possible. We can corrupt things and firmware download and upgrade is also possible by sideband communication. So there, it become more critical to be very sure that uh, the things are all in secure and everything and where uh, SPM can, uh, SPDM is used predominantly to protect the SSDs out of band communication, right? So security protocol and data bus model, uh, Brett had a very good uh, explanation on this. So just I like to highlight how that sequence happens from uh, uh, SSD perspective. So I just, as you see in the right side, uh, we see like a categorization to three part. One is like a data packet creation, and next is a binding layer with uh, SMS, for example, and then how the secure uh, interaction happens. So basically, if you look at the image, uh, it is, uh, Security robust against uh, physical attack is possible because the SPDM spec speaks about uh, uh, mechanism where you can define the uh, data messages and then it can be passed over the binding to MCTP and then it can transfer via SMBus and also by DOE in the case of uh, PCA VDM. Uh, what hap what SPDM provides us is like a set of uh, standard messages, which has a message object and sequencing approach. So that helps in all of our SSDs to be adapting to that and then making the environment very secure. So principally, I gave a SPDM command format down, how it looks like. It's like a version matching uh, header information and uh, what is the expected code and the param details. And predominantly for SPDM protocoling, uh, SMBus is defined by DMTSF and uh, DOE, which is basically from PCA perspective, it is still owned by PCA SIG. So storage industry, we need to support both to make that very obvious on the part. So let me touch upon the SPDM over MCTP binding. So if you look at it, the MCTP header plays a critical role here. Uh, so it has some information like uh, uh, what type of message type is getting there. It's not only used to only for uh, SPDM, it is used for uh, MI protocol and other uh, protocols also there. So how SPDM is identified from our binding layer is the message type, which is 05, which indicates that it's an SPDM packet which is getting transmitted. And how it is secured is it has both the source and the destination address. This is one level above the SPDM. So it's by like MCTP protocol, which defines which end endpoint it is getting highlighted. And once it reaches it, uh, the endpoint has to have a responsibility to uh, tailor that and uh, acknowledge that requirement, what is asked for, and then establish a secure selection. So let me touch upon the attestation, authentication attestation model. So predominantly, previous two sessions also spoke about it. The definition is same, just like think I have mapped it to a, a data center environment with a responder. So where we have the First initial process is the uh, security of a uh, capable discovery negotiation. So first we, as we said, first and the foremost is the version thing. So uh, yes, uh, what our storage SSD we provide, it will have a defined message uh, version of it, which has to be negotiated and identify the capabilities, what we support, and then certification validation happens. And then the measurement of the firmware, whatever is this done, and the key exchange, and further do that, all the secure data transaction happens, which is predominantly aligning to SPDM's approach. Uh, that is a key thing from our perspective. So what happens from NVMe SSD perspective? So once this layer is set, the secure connection is established, and further to that, any transaction which goes via uh, the sideband path. It can be a format command, it can be a sanitized command or a firmware download, whatever it is, it will be uh, secured and there is a guarantee that no hacking or probing is happening in between these layers of the two devices. Right. Let me run across the next. Uh, so from the OC perspective, contribution perspective, we are looking at uh, more uh, involvement of the other vendors for SPDM. And from the Samsung perspective, we have two D, uh, NVMe SSDs, which is PM9D3A uh, and uh, PM1743A SSD, which is compliant for SPDM. And uh, PM9C93DA is available in the demo full within Samsung here. And uh, we support both the SMBus and PCA VDM path, which means like we are ready for the 
secure aspect from the SSD's perspective. Getting to the call of action, so we are looking, I mean, we are expecting um, co-work with more security and storage teams for OCP and also a request to support in SPDM specification definition from the DMTF. Yeah, I just conclude my session. Any questions? So you mentioned on your diagram, you showed kind of PCIe. Um, I, don't, I can't remember if you mentioned DOE. Do you guys have plans to support both VDM and DOE mechanisms? Uh, from Samsung, the whatever model I mentioned, we have supported for DOE also, like a PCIe. Is that in your current uh, drives, or is there a roadmap time frame for that? So currently, it's in near future. Okay. So one is in the demo model. We can look at it from the SPDM perspective in a booth in Samsung. It's available to support both. And then kind of same related question on your messages you had where you support secure messages uh, to s beyond just authentication and attestation. Your looks like you're supporting an actual secure message as well. Is that also supported or just a future capability? It's a future capability. Like uh, it depends on it. We are, we are speaking about only the transport um, uh, securing the sessions. So how internally it happens, it depends on the firmware things and uh, requirements. That's great, because we just added that requirement to the OCP data center and MME spec to support secure sessions. So we definitely like to make sure that Thank that you. Gets, uh, Thank you, sir. Quickly. So we have guys like Mike here, so they can help us more. Thank you.